Hey, hey, what's up, Mike? This is Guys. Welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. Today, we're going to install three routers in one network. I'm going to show you every step of the process and explain each step thoroughly. And to show you how easy this process is, we're going to install three different routers from three different brands. So router number one, or our main router, is the Asus AXE 7800 Wi-Fi 6E router. Router number two is the Linksys AX5400. And our third wireless router is an old Netgear router. <laughs> Before we can install three routers into our network, we have to set up the main router or router number one. So let's log into router number one and get the network IP address. Our network IP address is 192.168.1.1. And the first thing you want to do is head over to DHCP and take a look at the IP addresses. We're going to configure two static IP addresses, one for router two and one for router three. So in order to do this, we need to make sure there's no IP address conflicts. So in DHCP, we're going to change those range of addresses. We're going to start at eight. This will free us up some IP addresses for static IPs. By starting at eight, we can now configure up to seven static IP addresses. So router number two will be 192.168.1.2 and router number three will be 192.168.1.3. And yes, we can add a fourth or fifth or sixth router. This process is all the same. Oh, and guys, don't forget, hit subscribe. That's what the cool kids are doing. So once we change this DHCP, hit save. Now go to wireless settings and take note of the SSID, security settings, and password. Under the 2.4 GHz band, on router 1, we're going to change the control channel to channel 1, because this channel does not overlap with the other channels. Under the 5 GHz band, select channel 36. Under the 6 GHz band, we'll leave it alone. Then hit apply. And now we can configure router number 2 and router number 3. And to make this simple, all we have to do with router number 2 and 3 is turn off DHCP and plug in the network IP address for each router. And lastly, we'll configure the wireless settings. To access router 2 and 3, simply plug the router into your PC via the LAN port on the router. Once you log into the admin screen, you want to look for the local network tab. And we're going to make two changes here. We're going to change the router IP address to 192.168.1.2 and also disable DHCP and hit save. We'll also have to configure our wireless settings, our SSID, security, and passwords. The SSID should be different, but the security and passwords can be the same. So router 2's SSID is UTH 2.0. For the five gigahertz band, we set the channel to 44. For the 2.4 gigahertz band, we chose channel six because once again, it's a non-overlapping channel. And for the password, we're going to use the same password as our main router. Wait, Super bad. You changed your name? To and now we're all done McLovin? with router 2. And on to router 3. We're going to access router 3 with our phone to make all the configurations. Once again, we need to change the router IP address to 192.168.1.3. And once again, disable DHCP. Then we're going to go to the wireless settings. And our SSID will be UTH 3.0 same security settings the 2.4 gigahertz band will be channel 11 because once again it's a non-overlapping channel and we're going to use the same password super bad i am 11. save all the changes now it's time to plug in the routers to the main router there's a couple ways you can do this you can plug both routers into the LAN ports on the main router or plug in one router to the main router and the third router into the second router kind of like piggybacking. And if your house has a network panel like mine, with Ethernet going to several different rooms, you can plug router two or three into any available port. And this will provide additional Wi-Fi as well as additional LAN ports. So guys, that's how you set up three routers in one network or four or five or six or whatever. It's super simple. Use the techniques that I've shown you and it's super easy. So guys, make sure to like, share, comment, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.